So, welcome to, uh, the Magnapath. It's, a uh, very lush compared to where we just were. I, uh, forget exactly where on the Bionis we are right now. I want to say we're climbing up the back? We'll, we'll see in, uh, just a bit anyway, but... I do really like this area. This area is very good. But that's mostly because the party member we're about to get is incredible. <laughs> Lady Melia, withdraw to the Nopon village and let us handle this beast. No, Idol. Do you really expect me to leave you, run away and save myself? Permit us this once, Lady Melia. It is our honor and our duty to protect you with our lives. Do not fear for us. Flee. I will not. Man, this I not return to the Diamond Hydra is so very standing. nice to uh, let him just talk. I feel like there's just some unspoken rule about, uh, you know, battles and death in, uh, in this world where you, if you're having a conversation, you have to you know, respect that it's going on before you attack again. The Megon were uh, respectful of that too earlier. This is where you just talk about whatever you want forever while oh, still walking away. Turned up the heat. I've never seen such a dense forest. Me neither. How much further? This must be the back of the Bionis. If Shulk's vision is right, we've still got a long way to go. You mean go on in this heat? I'm sweatier than a brog's armpit. We'll have to search for the best route. Sadly, until we find a way, we'll have to put up with Rhine's stench. Shala? Hmm. We must be outside the tower. Welcome, true heir to the Monado. Father! Weak, weak and pathetic. What or who are you? You will pay for what you've done! You will know the pain and suffering you caused the Emperor and Fiora! So, is this implying that Shulk sees the same visions over and over and over again? I think that's just called remembering things. <laughs> yeah, but like, never seen. in an annoying way. If only I could find out what they mean. We could use them to our advantage. So you're saying he's having like a Look PTSD flashback a of uh, his visions? It looks Homs made. Sure. Not Homs. Nopon. Yeah, the maybe. Lot of them have settled in our colonies. The Nopon are originally native to Magna Forest. Nopons are basically fleas. Uh, I can't say. But walking around in you know, circles isn't gonna achieve I never anything. thought of them like that. Hey, well, it's either fleas or lice, I guess. I was gonna say, it's not wrong, though. <laughs> no wonder they want us to kill everything. Hmm. Anyway, this is Magna Forest, uh, very lush. I also really enjoy the, uh, the music track here. Yeah, just, uh, coming down here and, like, seeing this waterfall for the first time was one of those big moments in the game for me, like, just, like, wow. Yeah, the, the Great Falls are just incredible. Uh, 
take yeah. more than that to slow us down. Who else wants some? Let's stay focused. There's a couple new enemy types here. I think we've seen the Oppies before, but here's the Aluka. It's a it's a big ass caterpillar. You see the uh, purple spikes on its uh, health bar? Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's the indicator that this enemy deals spike damage. Where if certain conditions are met, just attacking the thing will also deal counterattack damage to you. There's a couple so, of different types of spike, but they all suck to deal with. I think uh, on the Alukas, you you can trigger their spikes by uh, toppling them. So maybe don't do that. What's that? You thought you were u utilizing the game mechanics? Well, fuck you! Yeah, that that's basically what spike boils down to. Just a big ol' fuck you for, uh, engaging with the game systems. Yeah. Yes, no. There- there are some really obnoxious ones later in the game, too. Uh, one of the ones that is fresh in my mind is, uh, a spike that just deals or inflicts daze on you for, you know, attacking? Yeah. Oh, that sounds lovely. I I think there's one of one of the super bosses in this game also has a a death spike. I assume that Which, uh, that cut meant that you immediately jumped off the bridge. Yes. Yup. <laughs> there was nothing really important down there, so uh, just gonna come right back up. Man, you make traversing a rope bridge really easy. <laughs> now this area, like this area specifically, really reminds me of Xenoblade X. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could just drop back to forest directly into Xenoblade X and no one could tell the difference. Like there's a there's a really good sense of verticality too. I I don't remember if I managed to get up on that, uh, use this mushroom to, like, jump on the other ones there. I don't think I did. Yeah, because there, there's... I feel like you could... You, I feel like you'd be able to do it in X, though. Oh, you absolutely could. Well, if it was X, you could just, like, jump halfway up the log from the ground. Yeah, or take, like, a, a running jump and just, like, go 20 feet in the air and clear it that way. Or just, if you get far, farther enough in there, far enough... Or, far enough into the game, just up in your scowl and just fly over it. Yeah, that's true. Um, despite what you may think, you, I don't think you actually need to jump a, at all in Xenoblade Chronicles, the first game. So, you know, verticality isn't, uh, the game's not really built for verticality. Uh, but games like Xenoblade X and I think maybe two? Uh, they, they were designed with jumping in mind. Two is a so, little more so than this game, but, like, not especially. Yeah, like... Jumping, I, I feel like, was added as an afterthought, so you could, like, maybe wiggle your way out of, uh... the terrain if you happen to get stuck in there. Oh, yeah, no, jumping in all of these games is janky as fuck. <laughs> Oh, right, uh, here's another new enemy type, the, the Dinos. They also have, a, a topple spike. Um, there's another variant, too, the, uh, Inferno Dinos, that, uh, I, the only real difference is their elements. These guys are electric elements, those, the Inferno ones are, predictably, fire. Um... There are gems you can get to mitigate spike damage and effects. I don't think you get them until much later into the game, though, which kind of sucks. And that basically means uh, 
Try not to topple in Magna Forest. So they have a head underneath their head. Yeah, you know, I've never actually looked at them when they're toppled, but yeah, that's kind of a dual hand thing going on there where it's and it's just kind of bouncing separate from its body. Oh, it looks, oh, no, he was right. There was actually like another smaller head behind it. Yeah, so it was basically just yeah, two creatures stacked on top of each other and you don't realize it until it's toppled. Yeah, I, I, I'd never actually paid that close attention to uh, what those things look like when they're toppled, and so I've never noticed the, the dis, you know, uh, separated head just bouncing and flailing while uh, toppled. Does that mean it's a monster of the dark arts? I wouldn't put it past it. You, you, you basically have to be to uh, to use topple, or sorry, to use spike. What kind of wand do you think it had? <laughs> what kind of what? Never mind. <laughs> I love how there's a clear defined path and you see you doing absolutely everything you can to try and not use it. That's exactly how I played World of Warcraft. <laughs> Find whatever jagged edge I can in the landscape and just jump up that. You haven't lived on you until you've walked every scene, Crow. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure that Crow is the only person here who actually, like, legitimately finished Xenoblade X, so I'm gonna say that, yeah, he probably did, actually. <laughs> yep. Hey, now I finished X2. There's a lot of seams to walk in that game as well. <laughs> Ooh, dead body. Over there. It's like me. It's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> hey, are you okay? You. Shulk, what's wrong? Another vision? Just slowly draws his sword. Sure. <laughs> but first Ryan's like, help. okay, now how does she die? You're right. Let's look for somewhere safe. <laughs> Next thing you know, they're going to start playing 20 questions. You can easily ask for anything approaching. Okay. Does she fall Carry off a her. cliff? No. <laughs> Is it monsters? No. Mechon. <laughs> is it it's always the day? Mechon. That's cheating. <laughs> is it during the day? You know what's wrong with her? Her symptoms was it flying? Deficiency. <laughs> it's well known that Homs are strongly affected by ether levels in the environment, but I've never seen symptoms like this before. Hmm. A sudden drop in ether content in the surrounding atmosphere causes a reaction. In the bipod that connects to the to gun nausea. itself. But in this girl's Invalidating case, it as a what bipod. Can we do? <laughs> We're gonna need water type ether crystals. 
I'll load the crystals into a cartridge to shoot from my rifle. <laughs> this is uh, this is the greatest first aid plan <laughs> ever. I'll fire them into the air and the dispersed ether will heal her. Uh, Alright, so what's the plan, boys? Alright, so we're gonna get some water crystals and then I'm gonna shoot her with them. <laughs> you can't convince me that that's not what people do these days. No, she, she's oh, not, yeah, I made ice bullets and I just shot them in the nice air. <laughs> no, she's perfectly safe. She, no, she's not gonna shoot Melia, she's gonna shoot the air around Melia. I can't think of a better place. <laughs> And it can't just be water crystals, it's gotta be pure water crystals. For Ryan's like, shouldn't you, like, distance yourself first? Ah, nah, she'll be fine. Just point blank range. <laughs> no, no, you may be concussed from the, the blast, but we can worry about that later. The important thing is you're awake again. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind the uh, the gaping wound. All right, so we've got a Shulk solo section uh, cup right now, so we have to go collect some water ether crystals. Um, if you do get into a fight with Shulk, uh, there is basically no reason not to always try to use Shadow Eye. Um, like there. There's no other characters to draw aggro from Shul, so he's not going to get any of his conditional damage uh, perks up. So you might as well just go for a max attack if you can. I thought the plan was over level yourself so nothing ever aggroes you anyways. I don't think I was actually high enough level to, to do that. I don't know what that's like in this game. Do it. Like, are you, Do it, you are coward. You saying you, are you saying you couldn't cheese the game? I mean, I think it's more I didn't do enough side quests to, uh, to get myself to that point. This is spitting directly in the <sighs> face of previous commentary. This isn't going well. Well, it was good enough for, um, S Satoru Marsh, but this is a whole new area, and I haven't had a whole lot of, uh, experience granting side quests in between. Do you think in this universe, Homs do this for training, like jumping off ledges and stuff? Kind of like how a cat purrs so that it becomes more resistant to falls and whatnot? Oh, absolutely. Why do you think the, uh, they haven't built, um, like a ramp or anything to get up to the, those ether cylinders at Colony 9? Because the Nopon haven't instructed them to do so yet. <laughs> Anyway, the uh, the pure ether crystals are actually behind the ether deposit. That's not confusing at all. Well, one's a special item, so I can huh? kind of forgive them. Who are you? Hello there. I'm. Uh, it's called the Heartless. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like your sword. <laughs> what it's does it open? To see a Homs in this region. I... <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I am here in that case. Then permit oh me god, they even put the Zohar myself. on his uh, necklace in this My version, too. Alvis. Alvis? Yeah, they actually changed um, his pendant. It used to be just a straight-up key in the Wii version. Isn't it? Uh, how did you know that? Also, welcome to the... I think the only time I've ever Colony seen Blake Ritson ever playing ever not an asshole. You're famous amongst all Homs. I know you from somewhere. You were in my class in third grade. <laughs> They're here. Huh? The Monado emits a particular ether wavelength in its ground state. It must have drawn them. Huh? Oh! What are they? Alvis! Get out of the way! I'll deal with this myself! From the left? 
Then I'll go. They can read your mind. Whether you have a vision or not, if they know your next move, it's all in vain. If only Ryan was, was here. <laughs> yeah, that, that mother... Can't read minds so if there's How no mind possibly? to read. I was going to say, that motherfucker don't <laughs> think about anything. Stop it in its tracks, <laughs> then dull its perception. No, Albert, stop! You don't know how to... Huh? A new symbol? I don't think this is how Minato's speed works, but I, I guess we'll go with it. That was amazing. Yeah, I well, anyways, I can teach you for 12 play points. <laughs> the sword is yours to wield. Shit, it'd be a better use of play coins than uh, was that light? what the Xenoblade 3D has for them. You control it. I control it. Uh, I thought he was gonna say have the power. <laughs> I will stop them. I mean, he, with the haircut, he does look vaguely He-Man-ish, kinda. <laughs> He's just, he's just not swole, like, at all. I was gonna say, you, you put, <laughs> you put Shulk's head on Ryan's body and maybe you have something approaching He-Man? <laughs> okay, so, thanks to our new pal here, we now have Monado Purge. Monado Purge will forcibly remove the aura of any enemies you target with it, which is gonna be super important because Telethia Basically every Telethia has the uh, mind read aura, which fucking sucks to deal with. Um, if the cutscene didn't clue you in, Soul Read is actually is called. Uh, basically means you cannot hit them because they're fucking reading your moves. It's kind of miserable just waiting for a uh, soul read to run out so if you uh cast purge at the wrong time or you don't have your monado arts ready um we have alvis here with us and he he's got uh i believe his weapon is called the claymore it's uh the model is basically shulk's old junk sword and it's also got a special unkillable gem, so Alvis can never die. So as long as you keep, gonna uh, say, we, uh, we have some help, but it looks a lot like Alvis is eating shit here too, so... Ah, he's fine. As long as uh, we, we keep at least one party meter up, uh, we, we cannot lose. He's also got two arts, Cross Ray and Lost Ray. And that's the last what? we'll ever see of him in battle. You see now, Shulk? Hmm. Thank you. Hey! Wait a second. More importantly, where on Bionis did you learn to use the Monado? <laughs> they were not the primary Telethia. Merely its spawn. The primary Telethia dwells elsewhere in Magna Forest. Is it... wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest, wounded by a girl. A girl? The Monado is a divine sword capable of disturbing the very fabric of existence. 
of both the material and the immaterial. Alvis, how do you know so much about the Monado? Who are you? Yo, can I just say parents. I really like? I can I just say I really like the framing in this entire cutscene. Shulk! Shulk! Huh? Just how That's constantly fine. the Monado is uh, always on either, or, you know, Shulk and uh, Alvis are on either side of the, the Monado constantly. Shulk, we looked all over for you. Thought you'd been eaten by the forest. Sorry, Ryan. Trees don't eat people, Telenia. idiot. <laughs> if it hadn't been for Alvis, I wouldn't have survived. Alvis? Who's that? I don't know, man. I'll I, introduce you. There, I, He's the I can't tell you how many times Alvis? I've been I've been inside the giant trees was, with uh, mouths. There's no one here. I'm telling you, he was right here. Oh, man. Now Shulk's starting to imagine to people. A new power from he, the Monado. Oof. He's creating yep. futures and friends. And no one else around. <laughs> you probably passed out from dehydration. So, so you got you really got to be careful with the divine swords. You never know when they're going to start taking you over. <laughs> he was here, Ryan. I didn't dream it. I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I believe you. And while you were having fun with your imaginary friend, did you find any ether crystals? Yes. Good quality ones too. Perfect. Come on. So just look at this Come pile of water shine. ether next to me. Hang around here long enough and we'll get whacked by an imaginary beast. <laughs> I'm not lying. Yeah, it's too bad that corpses disappear in this world. Who are you? Hmm. Plot twist the Monado's actually a Pokeball and Ra er, Alvis just went back into it. <laughs> oh no, but everybody hated Vi from that game. God, I'm not sure if that would be better or worse if Alvis was just the the Vi the of the Monado. <laughs> you're just you're just going along and all of a sudden he just pops out and he's like, So Shulk, did you figure out how to kill this one yet? I've got a 20% chance you're gonna eat shit right now.